walking through a soul tunnel. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. Smile to gender. <laughs> Look at that. Love of that. We're on our way to Kevra, which is a salt mine. And look at the scene. That is amazing. You can see a little tent. These guys are so lucky. Look at the place where they're living. That's amazing. We're just taking a bit of a pit stop. Look at that. Crazy style. We're on top of a mountain, mate. And look at this. People have dwelled here as well. Look at the houses. They're pretty good. Not bad. Imagine living here. Wow. Just approaching. The salt mines. You can see everything is made from salt. Salt mines, Kevra. It all starts from here. So this is the salt mines, guys. Got the truck in the middle. As soon as we've entered the mine, I thought they were. I thought they put AC on, but they're saying no. Nah, it's cold because of the salt. And I'm assuming because it's underground. Not underground, but, you know, through a mountain and stuff, isn't it? Because it's like mine, and you know. Look at that. Look how long it is. Long. I was just saying, the bricks look like ordinary bricks, but they're not. They're salt bricks. Even this is salt as well. It's crazy. Not the wires, everything else. Walking through a salt tunnel. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. Some crazy designs here in the salt mine. All different salt designs, salt creations. Didn't know salt had so many thingy magics. Normally when you burn your skin, it's to have a remedy to just put salt on it. Not with water. If you burn, for whatever reason, just stick some salt on it. Pure and simple. Got some shops in the salt mine. Of course, you gotta have some chops and you gotta have some chai. Look at that. Those, uh, I don't know what you call those long things. The leaking. So thingy, leaking thingy bobs. There's, I don't know what the technical name is. Ladies and gentlemen, that was. The salt mine of Kevra. Nice.
Just come back from the salt mines and on the way we're here at uh, Qatar Suraj temples. The Qatar Suraj temples are attributed to the Hindu Shahiya and are dedicated to Shiva, their god, and is an important Hindu pilgrimage site in Pakistan. So we just thought we'd just come in, have a bit to eat and admire the scenery. And you know what many people say that because of the India-Pakistan uh, tensions, you know, the holy sites in, of either religions in either of the countries have been destroyed and this and that. But you know what? When you look at places like this, you know that is simply not the case. And Hindu and Muslim, we can all appreciate great architecture and live peacefully and amicably and respect each other's faiths. Now, this is an absolute wonderful sight. That water is simply amazing. We saw it from outside and we were just like, SubhanAllah. Look how blue it is. Look at these little fishies. It's got little fishies inside as well. Aww. Sweet. Amazing piece of architecture. Welcome indeed. Let's see if I can take you guys inside. Whew. Hey! Ah. Look at that. They've still lasted since the since Pakistan and India was united under the name of Hindustan a lot of history look at that view nice can you use this for a small to gender sketch nice <laughs> Imagine, imagine, imagine waking up in the morning. Ooh. Oh, it's a Nice. <laughs> wow. Amazing. Not, not, not this bit. This bit. Nice. Sweet. Check this view. Allahu Akbar. It's amazing. Ah. Ah. Check this out. Wow. Oh. Look at the architecture. Ah, look at that. What a scene. I love it. We 
just stopped at the petrol station on our way to a place called Kala House or, or it's known as Kalar, Kalar Gar and uh, mashallah every petrol station has a nice uh, place to pray because we are Musafir tra travelers our Salah gets halved if it's a four unit prayer if it's four it becomes two if it's three it remains three not one and a half yeah look at these Pakistani trucks all Pakistani trucks have uh, some sort of design on them and mashallah they look amazing they have some sort of theme of animation whatever you want to call it and they've got these dangly bits at the bottom that dangle when uh, the truck moves literally all of them look they look amazing on the road and make the road seem so animated <laughs> This guy is making flavored, flavored ice. So we've just taken some ice, shaped it, stuck a stick in it, and he's gonna flavor it with some flavorings. Pepsi can have a flavor? This is it, guys, a nice resort with color car. This is color car lake in English and color car uh, jeel in uh, Urdu. Yes, look at that. What a view. It's 400 rupees to come in this filthy water, to come at one mile an hour, slow motion, literally two minutes to drive up to there and two minutes back. Yay! I highly recommend this place. Not. Should have come in those tractor things. Instead we came in this uh, boat which seems to be sinking. Our man's making a decoration piece. How much you sell? $250. He's working hard with his hand. And he's selling it for 250 rupees. So it's the leaves of palm trees. Look at that. Looks very nice.